Hi there, it's April here. In this tutorial, I'd like to share an art activity where we'll invent our own amazing colors and then make them into a cool accordion book. Color is one of the elements of art, and it's amazing. Artists use colors to express themselves, to create mood, and to evoke thoughts and feelings. When looking at this painting by artist Don La Legere, I see such a variety of beautiful colors. Take a look. What colors do you see? When artists like Don paint, they mix colors together to create new colors. And then, they often mix those colors together to make even more new colors. It looks like Don created a lot of different colors of red for this painting. Look closely and see how many different colors of red you can find. Some artists, like Surrender Dollywall, like to give names to the colors they create. She did this in this artwork that she called, When I Grow Up, I Want to Be a Namer of Paint Colors. Okay, let's get started. I've collected the following materials. Whatever kind of paint you have at home will be just fine for this project. A paintbrush and water, paper, regular copy paper is fine, a ruler, scissors, glue, a pencil, and a felt marker or pen. Finally, some cardboard. Something like an empty cereal box will be perfect. Take some time to play and experiment. When you look at your paint set, you might think that you have just six or eight colors to choose from. But in fact, you have thousands and thousands of different colors at your fingertips. Your options are endless. You can make all these new colors by mixing the colors you have together. Make sure and use lots of water to help the colors blend. Mix different colors and see what happens. Try as many combinations as you want. Don't worry about painting any particular shapes or pictures right now. Sometimes in art, it's a good idea to explore just to see what's possible without knowing exactly what you're making. How many different colors can you make? What do the colors remind you of? As you mix new colors, notice which ones are your favorite and try to remember how you made them so you can do it again when we are making our book. See if you can fill a whole page with experiments. Later, this page will become part of our accordion book. Okay. While it dries, let's make our pages. We're going to divide a piece of 8.5 by 11 inch paper into thirds lengthwise. Use a ruler to measure 7.2 centimeters from the edges of the long sides of your paper. Draw lines that connect your marks. Cut along those lines with your scissors. Now, stack the three strips of paper together and fold them in half and then in half again as I'm doing. Separate the three strips and place them one above the other. Turn the center strip over. Use the glue stick to glue the first panel of the middle strip to the last panel of the top strip. Now glue the last panel of the middle strip to the first panel of the bottom strip. This will create a 10 panel accordion. The last step is to flatten the accordion by folding the folds in the opposite direction. This will make your pages flat for when we paint on them. Now we're at the fun part, inventing our own colors. I'm going to leave the first two pages blank so I can add a title and dedication later. On the third page, I'm going to mix my first color. I remember from my experiments that blue and purple with a little bit of white looked really cool together, so I'll try to do that again. After you've made your colors, you get to name them. Think about what they remind you of. You could think about things from nature, 
Maybe a color reminds you of a fresh blade of grass, the stormy ocean, of the scales of a fish. You could think about food. Does it remind you of creamy hot chocolate, spicy peppers, cotton candy? You could think about feelings. Is this color cheerful, sad, funny, angry? This color reminds me of the sky right after sunset, and it feels very gentle to me, so I think I'll name it Soft Twilight. Use your imagination to name your colors. There's no wrong answers, and the sky is the limit. After you've made your first color, move on and make colors for all the rest of your pages. I named my colors Fireball, Slime, Deep Sea, Frostbite, Campfire, Crystal, and Orbit. We'll be using cardboard for the inside of the covers for your accordion book. You can usually find exactly what you need in the recycle bin. I'm using an empty cracker box. From the cardboard, we're going to cut out two squares that are 7.7 .7 centimeters by 7.7 .7 centimeters. Now we'll get the paper that we first painted on when we were experimenting with mixing colors. We'll be using this to cover the cardboard. Find two areas that you like the look of. Lay your pieces of cardboard over these areas and draw a frame that's bigger than the cardboard by about one centimeter on all sides. Cut them out. Cover the back of the paper with glue. Go right out to the edges. Press a cardboard square down in the center of the paper. Trim the corners. Then fold the edges of the paper over the cardboard and press down firmly. Do the same steps to the second cover and ta-da! Our covers are finished. All that's left to do is assemble our book and give it a title. To glue the covers on, we'll fold our book up and then glue one cover on the back of the first page and the other cover on the back of the last page. Now to name my book. I'm going to call it Amazing Colors by April. And I think I'll dedicate it to my cat, Cleo. There it is, done. Hope you have fun making your own book of invented colors. Thanks for watching, bye.